All right, this one's gonna be on a, a Python script called IMGUR album downloader. Uh, basically, that's what it sounds like. Uh, you're downloading albums from the IMGUR.com website, and this script requires Python 3.3 or higher, right? So make sure you have that. You can do that by doing um, Python dash capital V, and they'll tell you what version you have. So I have 3.4, so that's the requirements 3.3 or higher. Um, the way to use this is real simple just download the script here you can do a git clone or you can actually uh, download it manually over here on the side it says uh, zip download and just extract it right uh, they give you the usage here if you're gonna do this manually but well I'll show you that anyways okay so for example we go look for a um, an album let's say this death note here is 33 images right and the link that's how you know is uh, is an album it says uh, imgr.com slash a and then slash whatever it is so the a means it's an album so you can actually just copy this and if you want to download this manually you'll do um, well you go to that folder where you you know you download your, uh, your script and you can see that they have three files your license your imgr album py and the readme so if you're gonna do this manually, you do Python, and then IMGUR, and then you just paste in the uh, the link here, and basically what it'll do is it'll download, um, you know, the images. So we'll wait for it here. Uh, I think it's 33. Yeah, yeah, there you go, 33. And you see this is uh, the folder name of it, so you can do CD into that. And this is basically all the images um, for that death note thing, right? And there you go, you can download like that. Now that's how you do it manually, but it's kind of tedious. So if you know you use your bash RC or ZSHRC, much more convenient. And this is what I have in my bash RC or ZSHRC. Uh, we're just gonna you know give it a function name, and then we're gonna do Python and the path of that. Uh, our script and then our argument whatever it is um, so that's what we have here if you want to call it wherever you are so for example uh, let's say get another one what's another one this one 16 images here claymore All right so for this one let's say we go into our um, I don't know home folder All right what do we have in here Okay, we don't have shit. Okay, so let's say if you want to uh, download that, you can do IMGUR album, and then you just paste in the link. You can give it a name if you want. So if you want to call it Claymore, then you just type in Claymore, and there you go. It will just um, have that folder name Claymore, and all the images ghost into that. So that's pretty much it if you want to do that one. And the last one is actually something... I um, created uh, just now and this one is mainly because if I download the images I want to play in a CBZ file which is uh, for comics and stuff like that so that's what this uh, function here does okay it downloads the you know the images puts it into a zip file renames it to CBZ so on and so forth and deletes the original um, temporary folder that we uh, you know download all the images because we don't need that anymore uh, now that we have the zip archive so demonstrating this one out too okay uh, let's go back to this one here so for example let's get another one um, how many images is that okay this one Kawa Bebop 39 images copy this sucker copy that and if I want to do IMGUR and want to use the CBZ file here. Um, maybe you know sometimes if it doesn't work out, you might have to put the links in quotes and all that, just because it has that pound sign there, right? You can do that too, and give it a name, you know, for our file name. This one was Cowboy Bebop, so we just call it Cowboy, right? And basically, what's going to do is download it. Um, I usually like to save it to the temp folder because I don't need any shit in the temp folder. But it'll download it and it'll actually make a zip archive, but it renames it to a uh, CBZ. 
and basically if you have a comic reader you know one of those um well on linux they have uh was it m comics and you can actually open the cbz file here and there we go we have our cowboy bebop album we just um took from there and there you go that's how you would download using that script because otherwise uh, sometimes when you try to download an album they they want you to give you um give them your email address and shit like that which i don't want to do and this script is pretty cool so check it out if you want to download albums from imgur.com that'll be it for this one everything will um what's that all these scripts and functions or whatever i talked about will be in the description so check that out that's it